God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for joining us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I'm Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm Senior Pastor of the Church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message title this week is The Divine Nature. I will be reading from 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 4. In this way, he has given us very great and precious gifts, he promised, so that by means of these gifts, you may escape from from the destructive lust that is in the world and may come to share the divine nature. My beloved, to be a partaker of the divine nature is not, of course, to become God. That cannot ever be. The essence of deity is not to be participated in by the creature. Between the creature and the creator, there must be a gulf fixed in respect of essence. The first Adam was made in the image of God. So we, by the renewal of the Holy Spirit, are in a more divine sense made in the image of the Most High God and are partakers of the divine nature. Beloved, we as Christians are, by divine grace, made like God. God is love. You can read that in 1 John 4, 16. He that loveth is born of God. You can read that in 1 John 4 and 7. Beloved, God is good and he makes us good by his grace so that we become the pure in heart who will see God. Do we not become members of the body of Christ? Yes, sure we do. The same blood which flows in the head flows in the hand and the same life which quickens Christ quickens his people for. As in Colossians chapter 3 and verse 3 says, ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ and God. So my beloved, as if this were not enough, we were married to Christ. We were espoused to Christ. He has betrothed us into himself in righteousness and in faithfulness. And he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit. Oh, what a marvelous mystery this is, my beloved, if people could fully comprehend it. We look into it, but who can understand it except by divine revelation? from God. While we rejoice in this, let us never fail to remember that those who are made partakers of the divine nature will manifest their high and holy relationship in their fellowship with others. My beloved, we must share the love of God through Christ Jesus with others and have fellowship with them. That is holy fellowship with them. It will be evident by their daily walk and conversation that they have escaped the corruption that is in the world through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. And only through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, can we escape the corruption that is in the world. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for this message today, the divine nature. We only have the divine nature because we are in Christ Jesus. We realize that we have repented and accepted your beloved Son, your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, as our Savior and Lord. And therefore, we have the divine nature of Christ living within us. Father God, thank you for our salvation today. Thank you for sending Jesus Christ. And thank you for leading us through your Holy Spirit. And for this, Father, we give you praise, honor, and glory as we pray in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. I could give you another amen for that. Praise the Lord. My beloved, have a great, blessed, and wonderful week. And remember, if you are in Christ, you have the divine nature of Christ living within you.